Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over some of the Jacksons of Atlanta, aka Mahogany Jackson stuff, just giving a rundown, just talking, giving my thoughts and opinions, guys. Please like the video if you come on it. Um, I would appreciate that so much. This video is for entertainment purposes only. These are just my thoughts and opinions. And if you have a thought or opinion, you can put your thought and opinion down below. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about Mahogany's numbers when it comes to her personal things that she wants to talk about and she wants to let everybody know as opposed to when she's putting the kids on and everything else. Um, I talked to, well, a subscriber, which she is a fellow YouTuber, Tiffany pointed out to me, hey, Tiffany, <laughs> pointed out that, you know, people don't really look at her videos unless the kids are in it. And I never really just noticed that. But um, yeah, it looks like Tiffany and I think a, someone else maybe commented on that. I think you guys may be right. Cause like with her book release and the skydiving and the preparing for the book release, all of those videos didn't really get much views on it compared to the ones with the kids and the single mom. So um, even the divorce things, like like her talking about the divorce, like right here, I feel like a failure and all that. So that is crazy. So it looks like Mahogany may have to do something different. I kind of feel bad for her in a way. Even here, she was saying, this is your month of self-discovery and self-worth. I feel like she may need to do, like figure out what she's going to talk about on this. But that's... Um, Tiffany pointed out, it, I think it's kind of a little too late, too little too late for that for her, as opposed to making this her brand, her own personal thing, like away from the kids, away from Justin. She's already overly saturated this channel with the divorce, which which equals Justin. She's already oversaturated the channel with the kids and stuff, which makes no sense to me. Was because it's kind of like, why didn't you just do that over in the Jacksons of Atlanta? So I'm just giving my opinions on that and how I, you know, was noticing that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of skim through her latest video, y'all, to talk about y'all. Again, if you have an opinion on um, her, because I know the majority of my followers come from covering their content and just uh, you know, giving my thoughts and opinions and recapping and giving my commentary on their stuff. So again, y'all. If you have any thoughts and opinions, please share them down below and please like the video. You guys know that I already shared some of the stuff about the book release party. So this, she's just recycling this. Again, I don't think Mahogany knows where to go when it comes to her content and what to share. But she's already shared this before over on Instagram. And I think some bits and pieces throughout her videos and stuff and talked about that. Um, so this is where it gets a bit confusing to me as a viewer and as a person that gives commentary on videos and stuff. It's just kind of like, okay, like, okay. All right. Um, also, I think when she does content like this, it's just kind of like thrown together as opposed to the more authentic, kind of authentic things that she does with the kids. People tend to click on that. They want to, and I guess they, it, it makes sense too, that the kid, the people are looking for the kids, like really like, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Um, because you know, she doesn't post as much on the family channel, so they run over here looking for the kids on her personal channel, which she's turned into the family channel. So, yeah, when you look at being able to live that moment, breathe in that moment, experience that moment. Gosh, it just reminds me so much of God's faithfulness. And I remember when I was planning for that event and just all the emotions I was. Okay, I think she's talking about the book release, y'all. Um, if I really cared, um, I would look and see, like, I wonder how many books she sold. But, you know, good luck to her on her books and selling books. And I hope she sold enough books. So, good luck on that. And then just watching it actually come to fruition and then looking back on it, it's just like, wow, God is so good. God is so big. And as I tell you guys all the time, I pray that you take from my journey that despite whatever you may be going through, whoever you may have lost, 
whether you're going through a breakup, a divorce, or whether you're going going through a hard time. I mean, whatever the case may be that has you down or feeling like this chapter in your life was unexpected and just isn't your favorite one, I promise if you keep going, you can literally achieve whatever it is that God has placed on your heart to achieve. And I pray make you feel like you have to stay stuck, you have to stay small, or that you have to be trapped inside of this little box because sometimes people will make you feel like you have to be in a box, you know? They make Okay. Um she's talking the same, pretty much the same talk, y'all. You can hear some of the kids in the background of this video. You don't really see them, but you can hear them. Well I can hear them now. While playing the video, you think that once you become a mom, like say for instance, the other day I went um, indoor skydiving. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. And it was such an amazing time, and it was a solo day for myself because I hadn't been on one in so long. You know, I had been working and doing this for the kids. Getting this line, she has been doing things. Um, I don't think she understands like not being able to do something for yourself in so long means like months. You know, like weeks and like a long, long time. You know, several days or a couple of days or maybe a week of not being able to do something for yourself is not that long. And on top of that, you don't always have to talk about yourself. And then, then another thing is, so if you're going to just do something for yourself, do it, you know, whatever. But if you're doing it in such a way like what you're doing it and you're recording yourself, people are going to question it. I mean, they're going to wonder like, OK, why doesn't she record herself doing something with the kids? Not just the trampoline thing that you did. Uh, I don't, I never checked that video out, but I did see the thumbnail for the video. Um, not just that stuff. Why don't you put a little effort into your six boys sometimes? And I think that's what it is with people. They want to know why um, you're, you're seemingly so selfish is what it is. If I had to guess. You know, ready for picture day school and it's just been so much going on in my motherhood journey and then as far as like my business i've just been Ugh! and you know i hadn't really had the time to just stop and enjoy a moment for me and i did that and it didn't bother me but okay what kind of business is she talking about is she talking about the book you know what um i feel so sorry for her and you know her partner ex-partner whatever they got going on i don't know her baby daddy the you know the husband because he still is her husband they waste so much money like and then again, y'all, you guys know about that whole team that they supposedly have. If Mahogany had a team, like for real, if she had a manager, anybody, they would advise against the stuff that she's been doing. You don't just waste money or just throw money into something. Because even if, even with that re-release of the book and the changing of the book cover and the party, all that's still a waste of money. Like, who is this for? Who are these people that's tuning in and watching that is what I'm saying. And do people like you enough to buy and consume whatever you put out? I don't know about that. That's why um, they didn't continue on with the Patreon. I don't think they was getting enough money from the Patreon for that. And I'm talking about for the family. I don't know about her personal Patreon anymore. Um, I know I was subscribed to that for a little bit, but she wasn't really giving that. She didn't give the details that she claimed she's going to give. And it just was more of the same. And then she would take videos that she posts on there. And like the next day they would be on YouTube. It was nothing different. It's just, I guess you would get like, it was kind of like a membership for YouTube. You get the, the videos a little earlier than everybody else. And okay, whatever. But it just wasn't worth, you know, the money. If you get what I'm saying, because she was promising something that she never delivered on and whatever, get it how you live, do what you do. But it's just like, whatever. Um, so I don't know where, and I know they do have, um, some sponsorships from time to time, but most of those sponsorship comes on the family channel. So I don't really know, um, how she's affording this because you have to pay your the upkeep of your car, which is gas and stuff like that. You have to pay for your children to eat and to dress them and stuff. And I know they do like a lot of hand me downs because the kids are right behind each other. But still, like if you wash clothes a lot, they tend to tend to shrink up. So um she the, you know just the buying of the clothes and just buying of the food and um all of that it's expensive. It it adds up. So I'm wondering like with these numbers too, this, this video didn't get very many numbers. So yeah. Um, I don't know y'all, but I'm using this as an example, but someone had commented on my video and they were like, you a mom, you're a mom of six kids. Those days of doing that type of stuff is over. And I was really just like, wow. But it's like, it just shows like people's mindset and how they try to keep you in a box. Just because your mom doesn't mean you can't go out and go skydiving, zip lining. No, it doesn't mean that you can go out and uh, go skydiving. Zipline and mahogany, it's just kind of not realistic. Um, 
And then on top of that, let people have their opinions. They're going to have their opinions because you showed your children off. You you opened the uh, the door to that, and that's what that is. Um, and you don't have to answer to every little comment, but I, I know how it is. You you feel like you want to answer to every comment, but you've defended yourself in that. You also, um, you and your husband have said that y'all are always going to take your own time and you guys come before the kids and all that stuff. So whatever, it, you know, it really don't really matter to you anyways. But like I said, I didn't get the whole concept of the skydiving, but um, I do, I did get it as you needing, um, content so i got you know i understood where you were coming from with that but the whole indoor skydiving by yourself just you know why and filming yeah you know so whatever i don't know whatever makes you happy and even if you aren't a mom sometimes people will try to box you in and say since you're this you can't do that or you can't just continue to bloom grow and enjoy your life because of the different roles that you may have you know and i'm talking about positive experiences i'm not talking about you know some things that may contradict with certain things but i'm talking about just you know, sometimes people make you feel like just because you have a certain role that you just can't still be a human, an individual, and a person. So let this be your reminder to be you before you became any role. You have always. Okay, that's the same thing. That's the same video done. Um, Kind of like I'm saying the same thing because to in response to what she just done so, uh, and talked about. So it's the same. Like you've already said this over and over again. It don't really matter at the end of the day. You're going to do the content that you're going to do. You're going to do the things that you're going to do. You're going to take time for yourself and that's whatever. And you're going to film yourself doing it. So it really don't matter. You know, it really don't matter um, at the end of the day. But it is, but people are going to ask. People are going to ask. And um, that's just that. It's really just that these videos are recent um, because she literally just dropped that video, the skydiving one, and she's in this one talking about how people were, uh, you know, responding to that or they had something negative to say or whatever, what she feels is negative to say. So, it's, okay, you know, so it doesn't look like she has much content filmed. But she did say she was going to put out the video of them going to the wedding and stuff. So I guess that's coming soon. All right, y'all. All right, and she did put out the video of them going to the wedding. I don't know, but I don't think she did yet. So I guess that eight-hour road trip video will be coming soon. We'll be checking that out, y'all. Put your comments and thoughts down below. And until next time, and if you guys watch the whole video, let me know. I'm not going to check anything else out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a whole bunch of praying and, um, you know, redundant stuff that I'm just not really, you know, I've heard it before. But my heart can keep doing you. Do your content, girl. Do whatever. And we'll go over it if, if I feel the need to go over it. Until next time. Please like. <laughs> And again, please put your comments down below. Chill, whatever. <laughs> but let's let's listen to what she got to say. You know that this is my first place essentially by myself because 10 years ago, you know, when I got into my marriage and things like that, I'm only 17. And so it was always like a us situation. So as I'm navigating divorce and things, it's been very different. So you, Mahogany, now y'all, Put y'all comments down below. No, baby, did you, what do you mean? Was it, did you mean, I'm sick of this damn watch. Did you mean when you got into the relationship or the marriage? Now, I don't believe that you were married to him for no 10 years. I know you wasn't married to him for 10 years. There's no way that you were married to him for 20, 10 years. So that was a lie. Um, Another thing is, we don't need to hear about that, about you never decorated, because actually this is the, uh, you've always decorated the house how you wanted to with the little whatever. And it really just don't matter. Decorate your house. Yes. Yeah, so you were a child when you got with him. Who cares? Um, and this is another thing is y'all don't get married that young like that. If you are younger than her or if you're young and you stumble across this video, please don't get married. And even if you're not young or uh, her age, and I'm just saying like young, like 17, 18, because I'm not trying to be an ages. I'm simply saying, get to know a person first before you decide to jump the broom or whatever you want to do with them. Please do.
don't just be out here marrying anybody. And please do not get married just so you can have sex. Please don't. If you are uber religious, please don't. That is the wrong thing to do. Let me add this disclaimer. I did do some fall style decor to my living room already. But y'all, I don't know if it's because I did it like a month ago that I'm kind of over it. And then it was like, I needed a rug. It was just kind of just dry. Like it wasn't, it still wasn't it. You know how you could just. She heard us talking about that, y'all. Yes, Mahogany, you better get on it, girl. But you need to talk about that. Just look at stuff and you keep looking at it. And you're like, it's trying to grow on you. But then the whole time you're just like, I don't know what it is. I'm just not feeling it. And so I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with right now. And then we're going to get into the new vibe. Okay. So just bear with me. Because it's a journey finding like what's you, what really resonates with you, your inner compass. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole process. So I hope this gives you inspiration as well as you watch and things. And mm -mm, no, my honey, you don't know how to decorate, baby. Ain't a picture on the wall, ain't nothing in there, girl. It's dry. Your other little, the little townhouse you had was dry too. You don't know how to decorate, but I guess with time you'll get there. Comment down below some stuff that you would do, you would add. You know, I'm always open to like suggestions and stuff. We all have our own realm of creativity. So let me show you guys what I'm working with right now, guys. This is my that and so i took those chairs with me but i am not going to be keeping them because one i don't like the orange you know that was like a past time in my life i'm just like over it and then i want something that like right now you know many of y'all be like orange is cute orange is cute but then it's like throughout other seasons and stuff it just be off so i want to go with right orange is not cute you're right about that orange is not cute or orange is not gonna um no so you do need to get rid of those orange chairs you're right about that because they don't go with everything something neutral neutral colors you, you can do black black all is always in Mm -hmm. black is always in mahogany I suggest, I suggest you go with something like that and you, you could do some cream colored chairs and if you do do cream um make sure it's um leather so what that way if the kids have something on their hands or something like that it could easily be wiped off um and there you have it something like that but just neutral colors neutral vibes for um dining room tables not nothing bold like that bold orange i don't know who suggested that to her with some brown chairs new so that's what i'm gonna be switching ouch she's trying y'all but it just don't go you need something on those walls to pull that in i don't know where your pictures are but you need something on those walls to pull it, bring everything together um yes you need something on those walls. And that rug is just not it. It ain't it. Why would you get that color with those small kids, too? It ain't giving mahogany. Mm -mm. Today's actually my mom's birthday. And so I, of course, told her happy birthday. I actually sent her a video of all the boys, like a video collage of all of them telling her happy birthday. Then um, in, addition to, in addition to us telling her happy birthday over the phone as well, I told y'all about this. If you ain't got this, she playing. The Norton lip mask, it literally smells like fall in a jar. I love it so much. At least she tried to show people what she's using. Mahogany, I know a lot of um girls that are into that type of stuff. Um, you know, because I would hope a lot of women are, but a lot of people are just not. But I know a lot of people with bigger followers and stuff, they will link what they have and what they're using. I don't know how they do. I don't know if it's tied to the Amazon. I think it's mostly tied to the Amazon store. Um and they can link that and they will get commission off of that. How about you try to do that? Whatever you, whatever product you're using, whether it's hair, even some of your clothes, why don't you link that um, below and you can be getting money off of that? I don't, I don't understand how she's not doing this. You, you really need to get in your bag. And like I said, I'm for everybody getting money, making money. That's never going to be, I'm never not going to be for that. But I'm just curious as to why she doesn't do that. Why haven't you done that? What's going on? And as much as she shopped at Fashion Nova, why haven't Fashion Nova reached out to this girl and given her something? At least give her some free clothes. Because, damn. And you actually Okay, she's sharing, sharing that she got her mama some stuff for her birthday and all that stuff. This is personal mahogany, but I guess I know you care about your mama and stuff, but all right. Look how she ordered off of Instacart because I. I art off Instacart a lot. And that's what that looks like to me. Um, okay, y'all. If y'all can read that and see that. So, you know, that's what you should do for your mom. Your mom does a lot for you, it seems to me. And okay, moving on. First 301, I need to be posting on Instagram right now as we speak. So I'm getting ready to post. Then I need to do emails. Then I have some brand deals I need to film. Oh, 
I have a very, very busy evening, but I'm thankful for, you know, my job and career and the things that I choose to do for a living. No, I mean, it's not a job or a career, baby. It's not. What? Huh? I guess I can say this is my job and career, y'all. It's, it's really not. Now, don't get me wrong. It does take a lot to edit, like a lot. If you don't do the YouTube and you don't know, but it does take a lot to edit. Also, editing, um, it costs a lot. The, the things that I use and stuff, the programs that you use, it costs a lot. It costs a lot of career. And, you know, I wouldn't call it, you know, until you're bringing in like six figures, call it a career then, Mahogany. Call it a career then. Call it a job then. But all right. I didn't want y'all to see the bed is because people were asking. And girl, I saw that mattress on your back. Girl, you better fucking stop. Because bitch, you're gonna blow your back out. You're gonna break your neck. You're already short. What's wrong with you? If I do my bed like that and pick up a that is okay. I ain't got the words. I want time I pick my mattress up, y'all, and I do that because like I keep my important papers under my mattress. I don't know if like my my mama did it, my grandma did it, but my mom's mom did it. We just do that. A lot of black households do that. Um, put your comment down below if y'all did that. Um, but we keep I keep my I, important stuff under the mattress. Whatever, sue me. Um, I actually had an auntie, a great auntie, that um, her house burned down and she kept like all of her money under her mattress. So when the house burned down, like all the money burned with it. But um. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's finish listening to this girl. Um, and then we just got some things to do. I'm a busy girl today. Um, a busy girl today. I got mom, mom, mom. Update, update, update. So I try to just do home decor, motherhood, business update to just give you some variety. And that's why my home name, baby. Now we do know this. You don't have home decor in your bones, baby. You're not a home. Like you don't know how to do a home. That's just that. Because you know why I know you don't know how to do it? Number one, when y'all had that townhouse, you were not good at it then. Number two, you got that tacky picture of you, a personal picture of yourself going up the stairs in y'all house, literally at the entryway of y'all door. That is so tacky. That is so tacky. Now, if it was just you in that house, it wouldn't be tacky. But the fact that you have your family in there and it's a picture of you, a solo picture of you, and that was in your room, yes. But just right there in, at the entryway, no, nah, that's tacky. That's giving... Uh, What's wrong with this person? Like, like their childhood in a way because, you know, their mom was a single mom and they had to help with this or they felt like they had to help with that. So I really like them to stay in a child's place. But I don't want to curb that leadership or that drive to get up and help because I believe that's a great, you know, skill for them to have as young men and men as they get older, like that initiative, you know? So it's... Yeah, they're not really that big enough that, that you know, they're not that old enough to help. You're right about that. So, yeah, they need to get out of the way so they won't get hurt. Stay in a child's place. You're right about that very interesting balance of you know because i don't want to be like i don't need your help don't need your help and then they it is very because i don't need their help mama got it you know what i'm saying i'm the adult so i'm the one that is responsible for all of this you know i don't need them helping me even clean up you know their plates and everything but they just want to help and so i let them help here and there but it's just like like i said i explain myself and i'll keep going and going so just trying to find out girl what are you talking about do you have coffee this morning because what did you have a celsius or something caffeine because you were definitely rambling balance because I want them to be kids and enjoy their childhood despite what has happened. Now, let's go ahead and get this box break. They don't understand it though. They're too young. Now, if they were a little older, that'd be different. They don't understand what happened. They don't. Or what supposedly happened. What went down. You don't have to keep talking about that. And you should think, and if that is really going on, okay, if they really are, whenever this may come, two years down the line, if it never comes, if they really are living separately, let's put it like, because we're not, because we're not going to speak on a divorce. If they really are living separately, um, it ain't going to affect much. They didn't got over it. You know what I mean? Because the kids are too young. They don't, they don't understand what's going on right now. Bring upstairs and hopefully it don't take too long to put together. I'm hoping it's like a quick one too, but we're going to see. I know one thing, this mattress is oh, Okay, y'all, she's showing us her take the matches upstairs. Now, Mahogany, I, she don't look like she's five feet. She really don't. And if she is, she's no top, no, she's no taller than that. Maybe five feet, five, one, five, two at the most to me. She's very short. Um, and girl, you showing yourself, and then you're doing it, bringing it up the stairs the wrong way. Why are you just sliding up the stairs, girl? 
Damn. So she's showing herself get the little um the bottom of the bed or whatever you, whatever you call those things. It's not a box ring, but you know what I mean. That I don't, my only got their laundry everywhere. Maybe that might be a sign that Justin really ain't in there because Justin didn't like these clothes being piled up like that. Because he used to talk about her having clothes everywhere. But he still comes. My hog ain't no way. Those mattresses are heavy. Oh my God, those are heavy. It looks like she has this queen, I mean, a king size bed too. I ain't no way, my hog. Come on. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't make this up. Oh, it's a journey, y'all. Live alone. Living alone. You get through it, y'all. I'm not going to the girl that broke the bed. See, what you get. You knew better than that. Now, why the fuck would you? Y'all, the mattresses are heavy. Why would you even try to attempt to do it? That's how you know you didn't put that together by yourself. This girl done broke the bed. Now, she didn't piss me off. Early. So, hey, there's somebody out there. Y'all, they're talking about if they don't evacuate, then me getting my little room together as well as adding the. Okay, she was talking about the reason why y'all didn't see her waking up in her bed because she is, she, is because she didn't have her, um, the frame, the the rest of the, whatever you call that thing, the, the thing that the mattress rests on. I know I wouldn't call it a box spring, but that part, the mattress, I don't know, whatever. She didn't have that on there, and that's why y'all didn't see that. That room's so plain. Her room is depressing to me. Nothing in it at all. Where are your nightstands? What? Put some color in there. Where's that artwork that she had in her office? That would be perfect for her room, her bedroom. The little pink and all like neonish colors or whatever. That would be perfect for over your bed. Girl, you don't know how to decorate. But the way I just sweated, knowing that I have a photo shoot tomorrow. He's over. My girl, what you got a photo shoot doing? See, this is where her money goes. Photo shoot for what? What do you now? I can see if she was actually a model. I can see that. Okay, y'all. Um, so oh, that was a lot. Mahogany was moving to bed by herself. She wants you to believe that she she couldn't even do that match by herself with that. So there's no way she brought that upstairs. There's no way none of that. Um, and on top of that, I don't care. If he's in the house, if he's not in the house, he he he's at the house. He comes to the house. So why, when he comes to the house to pick up the kids, or when he comes to do the celebrating of the blowing of the birthday candles and the cake and all that stuff, why don't you ask him for help then, to, or wait for somebody to come to help you with that? That's crazy. You even hurt yourself in there. Your kids don't know how to call for help. Quit doing dumb stuff because there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Like I said, it's not like her and Jesse don't be around each other. But I know what you're trying to do. I know you're doing this for content. So I'm not going to really just buy into it like that. But y'all better stop being out here. Well, y'all better stop doing it out here. Doing every little fucking thing for content before you actually end up hurting yourself. It ain't that serious. I'm being serious with that. It ain't that serious, girl. You don't have to prove it so much that so you're going to hurt your fucking self. Chill out. And people don't need to see all over your house anyways. And then you're going to get mad because they're talking shit. Just stop. And my advice is bring some color into that home. Put something on the walls for those children. Like I said, if you got to do room by room, but that little place is not as big as the other place, it is not that much. Decorate your entryway table better than that. You're not in the hospital, Mahogany. The little, that little how you're feeling chart look like, take that away. That's tacky. Get you an arrangement on there. Get you something else. Get you some little uh, wicker baskets and stuff to put on the bottom that um, fix your house up better than what you're doing. Those kids will feel better. You will feel better. Period. Anyway, it's just annoying to see all that. I, I hate tackiness and stuff. Don't show your whole house off. It's time to do better. And if you don't know how to decorate, you should have took pictures of the old house, how it was, so you could put that stuff just back like it was. 
you see, you, you, um, she looks at too many girls for her not to have her stuff together. She does. Now, while we're on the topic, y'all, because I wasn't, I'm not going to give wine glass her separate video. I'm going to tie this into that. I want to uh, touch base on wine glass ass. She been going crazy on the internet. And I'm going to look at a little bit of her stuff before I go. Now, she's saying that point of view, they said you are miserable and unhappy as a couple. Plus, he never come home to help. You look a bay in the background looking. This girl is insane. Now, she's obsessed with people worried about her. You are a strong woman. Keep doing a great job. No, her girl don't nobody care. They say awesome, cool. <laughs> I don't know what they're, they're trolling. So, y'all, I want to tell y'all. Okay, yeah, I hear what she said. They said, don't worry about the comments. But I'm going to say this, though. That's the title of her video. About this mess. I can see. The second you uploaded this video, your viewers disarmed you. You don't even have the capacity to realize it. But hey, go you. You have a live-in baby daddy and he even waves to the camera. Okay, congrats. So this is in response to that video I just showed y'all when they were sitting at the computer. Diamond is crazy. Now right here, girl, if you don't take out that little fucking... Girl, quit coming on the camera with your nightgown on. Message that I received on YouTube, right? So they were saying that the post that I post with my bae. So what it's saying is the second you upload this video, you're. Yeah, we read it. We, I read it to the people already. Read, read it again. Viewers disarmed you and you don't even have the capacity to realize it. But hey, so what it's saying is the second you upload this video, your view. Yeah, you're going to repeat it again. Viewers disarmed you and you don't even have the capacity to realize it. But hey, go you. You have a live in baby daddy and he's even waved. He even waved to the camera. OK, congratulations. So let me get into this, y'all. Let me get into this. The second I put something on on YouTube or whatever, you guys feel some type of way when no because bitch i watched some of your videos and you were saying that your man didn't want to be on camera which i've been watching this girl for years now it's been a couple of years and diamond have first of all baby don't know he want to get on there okay now it's the title of the videos for me i ain't trying to cut off but we if anybody knows wine glass then you know what i'm talking about it's the title of the video single mom um what else that girl be putting uh solo parenting you know it's like you know like she doesn't have a partner okay and it's just that and if she likes to see when she's struggling and all that and the girl even said in one of the videos a clip like that's why they ran that girl jasmine's videos now i don't i know a lot of people do keep up with that girl jasmine i've never seen any one of her videos but i've seen people talk about her and seen little clips here and there um from people talking and, you know, giving their commentary, which they wasn't talking about it. They were just, you know, going over her content. But the thing about that is, Diamond, she was like, yeah, y'all ran her boyfriend off. Now, what I word on the street is that that boy didn't want her and he left her. So that's totally different than you and Bae's thing. I think what you do is talk about it. Somebody called her on it. Just shut the fuck up on it and wouldn't nobody be saying nothing. And on top of that, quit coming on the internet struggling. It's so many people out there and they're not struggling by choice. It's just because the man left them. The men left them with kids, and that's just that. They're struggling mentally. They're really, really struggling because they're single mothers. Or women have people in the house that really aren't doing anything. I don't know why you're trying to, because you're making your man look bad. You're making yourself look bad. You're making the both of y'all look bad is what's going on. And she was getting on there talking about the same old stuff about when she was doing commentary, which Jama was just fucking messy back then. I don't, she wasn't doing commentary. She was just, she was just a mean girl on the internet from the stuff I saw on her because the rest of the stuff was deleted. But there's nothing wrong with doing these type of videos, giving commentary or whatever. Now, like she must have said that's just so horrible and she don't do stuff like that. And no, to me, like I said, that was better for you than what you're doing now. 
You've already messed your YouTube up. You're not gonna, nobody's gonna take you serious. Nobody's gonna watch you. They're not. Because you already have been um labeled as what you're labeled as right now. You've already showed your house off with it being dirty and all that. So that's what people coming over there. And then you already talked about your man in such a way, you're still doing it. And that's what it is. And I have my man and I love him. And y'all, that my man is here. And I show y'all, hey, y'all think it's different. Y'all say that he doesn't help, but he actually does. Now, I'm the one. I'm in the wrong, right? That man ain't helping, bitch. That's why you sit up on the computer. He's sitting on his fucking ass. But you sit on your ass, too. That's why your house be looking like that. Girl. And get your ass on somewhere, Diamond, because, listen, <laughs> y'all y'all know a thing with, that gets me with her. Now, y'all know when I come on here, I don't be like, hey, it's your girl, LA. It's your girl. It's your girl, LA. God, I don't do none of that shit because that's so tacky and corny. And first of all, that's not my name, okay? I ain't, you're never going to hear me call myself that because that's not my name. So, anyways, this girl be calling herself, hey, y'all, this wine glass and chill. Welcome back to wine glass. Bitch, that's not your name. That's how I know you slow. I'm kind of with them now. Yeah, baby. It's giving, please be kind and rewind. You're slow. Girl. Why I can't say I love my man? Like every time I say I love my man, it's a problem. But when I don't say nothing, I'm. Y'all hear Bay in the background. <laughs> Y'all hear Bay in the background. Uh uh. About him, it's a problem still. It's never going to satisfy y'all. I'm not saying I, my relationship is perfect, but it's perfect for me. Get it. I get it. Stop talking about it. You're getting mad at something you did to yourself and you won't shut the fuck up. Stop titling your videos like that. You make yourself look bad. You're making your family look bad. Your whole entire family. You're making, you're making y'all look bad. Stop making the videos that you're making. Change your lane from wine glass and chill. Maybe you can get a different, maybe you can kind of start over and you can go take it from there. Quit talking about your man. Quit talking about your kids. Just focus on you and people won't have nothing to say. That's what you do. Me. So if you guys don't understand it, that's on y'all. Y'all will not bully me. I will not stop making content and I will forever talk about Bay. And no, I'm going to answer any questions on. See, she asked you to stop doing something, but she said she's going to keep doing it. That girl is true. All right, Diamond. The things that you guys don't need to know. When you ask me in direct or in personal questions, y'all don't need to know that. Y'all just being nosy, and I refuse to answer that. One thing Bay did say, and I'm going to constantly talk on my man, my Bay, he did tell me. <laughs> Girl, what? Me. Don't worry about these comments. These haters right here, keep doing you, and don't stop doing you. Keep doing He told me not to worry about this, and I'm going to keep. Diamond, girl, if you don't set your stupid ass up because, bitch, you was doing the same thing. You had so much to say on people and you still have so much to say because I saw your true personality. All y'all got to do is go back and watch them all. She got a couple of them up there. First of all, you messy than the motherfucker. Okay, so don't come over and trying to get that innocent trope, that innocent, innocent, like you innocent and you you don't talk shit about people, your you're peace and love and all that shit, girl, by you even talk about people's kids. You, you did that too. And about how women were walking around with babies on their hips and stuff. And all you do is walk around with that little boy on your hip. So you can go on with all of that. Keep doing me. And I'm going to not stop because you guys feel some type of way. If you feel some type of way, trust me, you're not hurting my views. And you can unsubscribe. That's it. You, you're hurting your views. You're right, Diamond. They are not hurting your views. That girl's hurting her own views. That's what she's doing. Come on now. Learn how to be quiet. And we wine glass, y'all. That girl's a hot mess. I don't. She got too much going on. Too much going on. Um, she, She's another one. Um, really wine glass. Let me go in here and see. Her views have dropped dramatically. You know, she can barely get to a thousand views. She will at least usually get that. And I feel bad for her, you know. I don't really wish that on nobody, no, no YouTuber. If you're putting yourself out there, I think 
you know, especially if she's monetized and stuff, I want it for anybody to, you know, put if they put their effort into it. But you can't keep doing this and stuff. And then you can't um, just keep, you know, you don't want to be, what do you call that? And it's okay to for people to um, a lot of people to be covering her stuff if they if that was the case, and then you know, but it was she was still getting her views and stuff like that. She's not even getting any views anymore, and she don't even see that though. Now she, I'm looking y'all because y'all can't see it, but it's the, like they're not tuning into her. They're just not. I don't know what happened with her stuff, but it's a big diff. It's a big uh, shift into what the views that she was getting. Just even a month ago, but it, I think it stopped. I'm not gonna say like two months ago or something. The views just slowed down. She's not getting them, and she don't know how to. You have to um, learn how to um, just put a video out, put a long video out. Number one, done, and quit titling your videos like that. When most of your audience know that you're not a single mom, they know you're not a single mom. They know you're not a busy mom because you you don't work. Um, because if you did work, that would be content to show yourself doing whatever you're doing. She claims she works with her brother. I don't believe it because she's always at home. Now, I don't know if her mama got her doing something under the table where it's making her seem like she's working for her brother. But she ain't working for no brother because she's always at home. How you working for your brother and you be up in the morning with your kids and the little baby is always glued to your hip. So, nah. So you better quit talking too much and running your mouth. Um. Until next time, y'all. I can't. No.